College Football Week 2, Rob Vino here back with another selection with analysis on this weekend's card. This time, I'm going to take a look at the Arkansas at Oklahoma State game selection, selection and analysis to follow here. But first, I want to make sure everybody knows about the Wager Talk special for this week, a three-day all-access, all-sports pass for only $49. With this pass, you receive every play I release, whether it be NFL college football, WNBA, Canadian Football League, any additional selections. And it also includes all five blue, five percent blue chip selections. An extra feature here for you guys is that you can pick your own date to start. So if you want to start it on Saturday and run it through Monday, you can do that as well. So once again, don't miss out. It's your chance to get a three-day all-access pass at this special price, just $49. Get all my analysis and top plays. It's a limited time offer, so jump in now. Once again, three-day all-sports, all-access pass from Wager Talk, just $49. Let's take a look here real quick, guys, at the Arkansas State, Oklahoma, or excuse me, Arkansas, Oklahoma State game. Game opened, Oklahoma State, nine and a half point favorite, total of 60, currently bet down to seven and a half and up to 62 and a half. The week one results. Show us this. Each team won and covered fairly easily. Each beat the closing line by double digits versus FCS opponents. But they were vastly different level opponents. Arkansas laid 50 and a half, beat Arkansas Pine Bluff 70 to nothing. Pine Bluff is among the bottom tier of all FCS teams. Oklahoma State laid 13. They beat South Dakota State by 24. South Dakota State is the reigning FCS champion. Did lose some starting talent especially on the offensive side, but still their quarterback, Mark Gronowski, was available and played in that game. Um, for Arkansas, it was a complete demolition of their opponent. They never punted in that game. They went nine for nine on third down conversions. They had 687 total yards, a plus 557 yardage difference. Oklahoma State won by 24, but they only outgained South Dakota State by six yards, 394 to 388. They had two TDs from outside the red zone, and they allowed two TDs from outside the red zone. South Dakota State had four turnovers on downs, plus one interception, which led to 16 Oklahoma State points. Keys for Oklahoma State here, they didn't allow a sack, and they didn't commit any turnovers. This matchup, I think Arkansas is more than likely to load up the box and try and prevent running back Ali Gordon from beating them. They'll try and put the game on the arm of quarterback Alan Bowman. South Dakota State's veteran defense tried that tactic, and they did hold Oklahoma State to just 3.8 yards per carry last week, but they still lost by 24 points. Um, defending this Mike Gundy offense and the balance that it has is an extremely tough task, and it will be for Arkansas on Saturday. But the Oklahoma State defense, for what it's worth, they seem vulnerable. Last week, they forced just one three and out on 12 South Dakota State true possessions. They'll face another dual threat quarterback here. Boise transfer Taylor Green now running the show for Arkansas. And Bobby Petrino, the offensive coordinator here. So you know the play calling is going to be good. Petrino has lived by the philosophy of vertical down the seams. He's not a, you know, pounded into the ground guy. He's going to light it up a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if Oklahoma State's D can hold up. Final look here real quick. It's a major step up for Arkansas as far as class of opponent is concerned. For Oklahoma State, not so much. But the Arkansas offensive speed and continuity with five returning oh well, it's going to be very different for Oklahoma State defensively. Arkansas wasn't forced to show anything last week. They played close to the vest. I figure both these offenses and the play callers involved can put up points. One last key, South Dakota State did try as much as they could to slow the game down last week, shorten it up. But there were still 24 true possessions in that game. OSU goes fast. Arkansas goes fairly fast. This game starts at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And as long as the offenses don't sputter right out of the shoot, I think this game should get to 63 or higher. So we're going to take a small look at the over on the way out. I'd like to ask you all to hit the like button here. Let us know what you think on this contest. Give us your selection. Give us any selection you have for this weekend. I'll answer comments as quick as I can. Click subscribe and join the 166,000 people that already have joined Wager Talk TV. It helps us out if you subscribe. Good luck with all of your plays. I'll see you next time with my next selection and analysis.